free diving under ice in the dark. No. In Finland. No, 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 no. We, uh, we're here to talk about your book, Fearless. Yes. Now, I could talk about it myself and explain it. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let you do that. Oh, you let me do it? Oh, my gosh. Yes. Um, well, you're here to sell it. So my book is, it's called Ad- Fearless Adventures with Extraordinary Women. And what I wanted to do was really tell women's stories of being courageous and intrepid and brave, because in my view, we don't hear enough from women like that. And you can discuss why, but I, I'm, I'm not really interested in the why. I'm interested in getting those stories out there. So what I did was choose um, 18 different women in all sorts of different different disciplines so you've got rugby you've got Uh swimming you've got indoor climbing and I could have obviously Ricky done these interviews on zoom but being (laughs) me and having heard the last five minutes I Mm. thought right let's go and do the stuff they love you literally dove in the deep end yeah, I went the the, the scare. Well, was it the scariest? It wasn't. Alcatraz. Alcatraz was scary, but then I like swimming, so I swam. Oh. We di- We jumped off a ferry. Um, we got dropped <laughs> by Alcatraz. I mean, there's a few clues in that, aren't there? <laughs> Escape yeah. from Alcatraz was not possible right. because it there are just... shark infested waters mm. with very fast currents. So we got dropped at, at Alcatraz <laughs> with these two wonderful young girls called Italia and Anaya, and we swam back to San Francisco. And I don't want to give too much away, but something did touch me in the vast swathe of water. You'll have to read about it. And it wasn't that, human. That's, that's enough of a... I mean, quite early on as well. Yeah, very early on <laughs> yeah. in the swim when I was all on my own. Oh, that's yeah. in, uh, that, 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 I'd stop there. Chapter one. <laughs> that was chapter the one. End. Yeah. And the, um, what was the, the scariest, though? The scariest... The, well, there were two that were really scary. One that I, one was what well, I was scared scary. Another one was kind of like roller coaster exciting scary so the exciting scary was free diving under ice in the dark no in finland no 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 that was this amazing ice swimmer who do you know kath pendleton vassos yeah. you probably do um she's an ice swimmer so so free diving i mean that so that's a bit like um it, well it's diving with no air so you take a big yeah. deep breath hold it for as long as you can climb into this hole which is it was dark anyway so it was like an abyss are you on Pull a rope it, you are attached to a okay. rope, so if something happened, they would find right. you, but quite late, probably. And then you swim... <laughs> sorry, I'm... No, I'm just, I, and then you, you swim 15 metres to the other side and hopefully survive. Oh, so there's a hole and another hole? Yeah, so you swim to another hole. No. <laughs> no. no. Sinead's there going, no, we're no. out. We're out. So that was exciting because I, I went underneath and yeah. I first thing first thing you have to pull yourself under because you're pressed against the ice because you're so buoyant oh right so it, but it's smooth under the ice it's yeah, not spiky well strangely you're absolutely right because the smoothness um surprised me right so I realized I had to push myself against the ice because there's no there's no air between the ice and the water and then swim on my back and so I, you're about, that's why I'd do it yeah. instinctively I'd yes, be like that, that well, well you see you'd be all right Instinctive. Like my, I'm taking my one-year-old swimming at the moment, and they're quite instinctive. Yeah, they can so turn the, the right way up. I realised that I needed to push my hand on yeah. the ice and do that. So first of all, I was like, "This is wonderful and dark and beautiful and amazing and serene." And then I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I'm never going to get out. I don't know where the exit is." And then I came out laughing my head off. Really? Yeah. That'll be the dopamine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 